Here we go, steak pop quiz. Which one of these steaks is better than the other one? Do you want A on this one or do you want B on this one? When you go to the grocery store, there are is a multitude of options of the same steak. As you have seen from some of my other videos, not all the steaks are created equal. When I'm going out and picking out an individual steak, I wanna be a little picky because I want the best one for the money. I wanna take you in the car and I'm gonna, we're gonna go to grocery stores in my town and I'm gonna show you in real time how to pick out the perfect steak. Let's go. All right, we're headed to our first location. I'm leaving my house. We're gonna go out there in the world and discover what all the butchers in my town are doing. I want you to be able to go to a grocery store and confidently pick out a great steak. This is my steak buying guide. We're off to the first location. Let's head out. All right, we were at Publix, first stop, and I found a couple of really good things. Found some bad things and good things. Have you seen some of my other videos? Publix, for whatever reason, does not trim the silver skin off their fillets. So I didn't buy any, but like they still have a little bit of the chain on some of the pieces, and, and they also don't trim the silver skin, which is a big no-no. Chewy, chewy for days. You're never gonna get that thing down. It requires extra trimming, and if we're paying top dollar, I don't want extra trim. Another thing they had was they were selling their porterhouses and T-bones for the same price. You wanna look for the big fillets and that's gonna be your best value if you're choosing between porterhouses and T-bones. The things I did buy today, I, I found some good ribeyes. I wanted to show you guys these ribeyes. They're two different portions of the ribeye. Let's do a little pop quiz and then you can tell me which one a or B, which one is the better ribeye? So we're here at Walmart, pretty picked over the meat section. Uh, it is a Monday, so I don't know if they had um, restocked, but I did find some Wagyu New York strips, which were pretty interesting. I had to get them because there's one glaring problem with these steaks. One of them is really good and one of them is not. We're gonna play this game again, A or B. I'm gonna break this down when we go back to the house and I'm gonna bust them open. I'm gonna show you which one is the winner. Let's go on to the next place. All right, so we are at Harris Teeter and that is a regional grocery store in my area. And I have found a couple of interesting things. One was they had American Wagyu in the case. That first one in the strip section, the New York strip section had a big, old spot of top sirloin and now we're paying upwards of $30 a pound and then all this top sirloin you want to make sure you don't pick that one and you pick some of the other ones that are all New York strip I also found a couple of fillets they didn't really trim any of the silver skin you know that's my pet peeve you gotta trim the silver skin we're gonna take these back to the house I'm gonna show you what makes a good fillet out of the case and what makes a bad fillet out of the case let's go to the next one we're gonna start out with the ribeyes let's break these open and I want to show you the differences between the two here are ribeyes ribeye is one of a very very popular cut people love it because it's well marbled it's fatty it's perfect here are the keys that I look for in a good ribeye. A nice thick cut ribeye with a well pronounced ribeye cap, that is the secret. You can get this, if it's nice and thick, you can then get it to a medium rare. These thin steaks are really, really difficult to get to a medium rare. They also do not have as much of a pronounced ribeye cap. So again, if I am looking for the perfect one in all these packages, I'm gonna try to find the one with the biggest ribeye cap and that's thick. These ribeyes are USDA choice grade. I paid $14.99 a pound at Publix, which again, we can do a better pricing if we cut our own, but you've seen that in some of my other videos. The way that the grading system goes, choice and then prime. So the, the difference between those two, so choice has less intermuscular fat than prime does. So if you see a prime ribeye, it has a bigger price tag, but it also has more intermuscular fat, which makes it a juicier and more tender product. Prime steak has, it, has more intermuscular fat than this one does, and that leads to a juicier steak. The way that Walmart's doing their meat is they're bringing it all in from some sort of other processing house. They're not cutting any meat there. So everything is kind of pre-packaged, either in your traditional, styrofoam and cellophane, or some of these um, different packages. I did notice a little discrepancy that I'm gonna, we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So when you hear the word Wagyu, what I wanted you to think about is more intermuscular fat. So it is not a USDA grade, like I said with the ribeyes. 
choice grade, prime grade. Now, I wanted to show you guys the differences between these two steaks that are priced the same amount. They are $26.87 per pound. So we paid a lot of money for this steak. You can see they have, the, they have a good fat cap along the top. Pretty good fat cap, quarter inch. It's pretty good. The differences are this one has a center lobe right here that is top sirloin. If you saw my video on how to break down a whole New York strip, you know what I'm talking about. So when choosing the steaks, I want to choose the one that is all New York strip and you don't find that little circle of top sirloin. I can't really resist to do a little bit of a cost comparison. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out just this top sirloin piece and I'm going to see how much am I paying for this little piece where it could be all New York strip. Now I've never normally do this to a steak, but again, for the sake of science, for the sake of saving you money, I want to see what kind of, when we're talking about this amount of money, what type of what kind of money are we talking about? Looks like we're talking about 1.7 ounces of top sirloin that we paid New York strip price. Let's break down that amount of money and see what it is. The price per pound for these strips are 26. 87 that is per pound that's going to so you divide that by 16 ounces and that's going to come up to one dollar and 67 cents per ounce okay we have 1.7 ounces so we're going to go 1.7 times 1.67 equals two dollars and 85 now you may not think that that is a big deal but I paid $16 for the steak and about $3 of it is going towards top sirloin. Just to let you know that picking the wrong steak can cost you money. All right, next we have beef tenderloins. And I also wanted to show the different places in a grocery store that you can get meat. Now, so far I've done the pack, you know, in the package, on the shelf. Now I went to the case because it's surely a place that has a case and someone who's cutting meat, we're gonna have a better quality product, right? Well, let's just check out, let's check it out and see. Open it up. Here are my fillets. All of the fillets they had, every single one, still had the silver skin on it. Hopefully you've seen my video about how to break down a beef tenderloin. If not, go watch it. You will see that this is what makes your steak inedibly chewy and cannot be eaten. You gotta spit it out on your napkin. This is why all this silver skin. Now, otherwise, the fillets look pretty good, okay? Got a nice intermuscular fat. They trimmed this one pretty good on the bottom. I've seen it in every place I've gone to. You see one and you're like, oh man, what is this? Now, this right here, this little nodule right here, it even falls off, is part of the chain. If you saw my video, you've seen that there's a there's a tough cut of meat that rides along the beef tenderloin and it's called the chain. And even when I throw this on the grill, this is gonna burn up and be, fall off anyway. I keep trying to find the people that take off the silver skin. It takes a couple extra minutes. You can't charge them for it, but it's gonna yield a better product. Before I cook these up, I'm gonna have to trim all this off so that I don't have an inedible piece of my steak. I, I don't know, I would give this like a C, C plus. Remember, let someone else buy this, okay? Let some other schlub who does not know the difference buy that. You want one that is lean, that has as much things trimmed as possible, so you get the best quality steak. All right, class, here's the pop quiz again. Here are our steaks. Now, which ones are you gonna pick? That's what I wanna know. Which ones are the best for your money? If you like this video, I want you also to check out some of my other grocery store money-saving videos. Like when I went to Sam's and talked about my five best deals in the whole place. Check it out here. Click the link. See you on the next one.